Hey, what's going on guys? Punk here uh, doing a Call of Duty commentary, Black Ops in fact, and uh, we have some free for all on radiation. I'm running around with a uh, uh, hardline, pro. actually no, lightweight pro, sorry, I'm kind of tired, you know how it is. Sleight of hand pro and ninja pro, I believe, with the stakeout, uh, free for all on radiation, if I haven't said that already. Um, some tips with the stakeout are to like, you know, check your corners and... <laughs> Good God, if I ever commentate like that, ever, please, someone, tape my nutsack to the wall and, and tickle it daily. Or so, Actually, don't tickle it daily. I might enjoy that. Uh, use it as a punching bag daily or some nasty, sick, sadistic shit, because really, that is not the way to do commentaries, is it? Anyway, Punk here from the toilet seat, as always, and the reason I do my commentaries from the toilet seat, you know, I like my privacy, my privacy. I don't want my roommates to think I'm absolutely out of my goddamn mind, even though I might be. Actually, no, I am, but shh, don't tell anyone. We're running around the kitchen, and in case you guys don't know, the stakeout is called the kitchen. I'm laying down some nice creme brulee, some nice seven-course meals, and bam, surprise spaghetti shop, motherfucker. He did not see that coming. <laughs> I love the kitchen, man. I am I fiend for the kitchen. I, I love being the man of the kitchen. It's a great feeling. You know, it just feels so empowered. And the funny thing about the kitchen is when I let my female friends play Call of Duty, they seem to do surprisingly well at the kitchen, you know? Maybe they, they kind of blow nuts with the akimbo. Actually, no, they're good with the akimbo ironing boards, too, surprisingly. I don't know. It's an odd phenomena, phenomen, phenomenon. Woo! <laughs> could not get that word out now, could I? But yeah, so if you are if you have some females over and they're struggling to do well with Call of Duty, you know, uh, hook them up with the kitchen. They it, it, It's like a natural. It's like... It's like spaghetti and spaghetti sauce. They're they're one in one in the. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Okay, you see where I'm going with this. But yeah, it, with the kitchen, you know, I like to lay down some ramen noodles. You know, I I, ca I can't cook a lot with the kitchen. I, I I'm not very versatile. But man, I make some mean ramen noodles. You don't want to see me with those things. You know, I got my technique down and everything. The water pouring technique i i got i got the placement in the microwave down perfectly i know what you're thinking punk you do your ramen noodles in the microwave you out of your goddamn mind well may, yes in fact but um it, it's surprisingly they taste almost better i think and it's a much more efficient way to make ramen noodles in the microwave if you guys want a tutorial on that and damn let me butter your muffin come here son did you guys see that mother muffin get buttered because i did <laughs> he, he wasn't ready for that but uh i was so, you know, if you want a tutorial on how to make ramen noodles in the microwave, I might just do that. Okay, um, and the thing is, the beauty about, uh, I'm, I'm out for finals right now. I don't have a final till Monday, so literally I wake up at 1, and, you know, I make a little bit of food, and uh, just kind of hang out and take my painkillers. It's amazing, because I hurt my knee, in case you guys don't know. I got prescribed painkillers for that, you know, and if you guys are ever bored or anything, you know, hurt your knee, okay, because you, you go to the hospital, it's pretty chill, and then they hook you up with some nice shit, okay, it's not this drug dealer, and look at this, look at this shit show of incompetence right here, look at, this is impressive on, by every, oh, oh, almost, oh, 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 going for the knife, oh, for the second shot, oh, <laughs> wow, everyone should, that was, that was beautiful right there, but anyway, um, they, they don't hook you up with that low drug dealer crap. They give you the nice high end, you know, over the counter prescription shit. I mean, that really, that'll, that'll do you in right there. Believe me, I feel like Tinkerbell and Never Never Land. It's some good stuff, except I was on the internet. I was kind of researching the drug I was taking. And, um, one of the downfalls is it lowers your testosterone. So that, I'm really not too happy about that. So I'm going to try and do some manly shit to compensate for that. So hopefully that'll work out. And, you know, I, Eventually, I want some little punk babies running around, so I, I, I don't want to, you know, take it too far with this testosterone-lowering painkiller. So really, if you guys if you guys want um, kids when you're older, if not, then just go ahead and take a lot of painkillers. But if you do, um, I suggest, you know, limiting yourself the number of painkillers you take. But it's great. But except for the problem with being in college and being a lazy piece of crap and being out of school until finals is that you wake up. And you're like, damn, I have to do a commentary in like an hour. I haven't done a commentary in two days. Jesus, Lord, I need to get something up there. And you feel pressured to say something funny and something creative. And when you're when you're under that kind of pressure, nothing really good comes out. So you, you produce crap commentaries, kind of like the one I'm doing right now. But don't fret, young young Padawan Jedi. <laughs> there is um good 
stuff on the way. <laughs> oh yeah, yes. Um. Oh, I I signed on to YouTube this morning and my mind was blown. I blew a nut everywhere. I I, I milked the rhino, if you will. It was unreal. I got a message saying, "Punk, do you want to um, do you want to get this video sponsored?" It wasn't a full sponsorship, but it was. It was for the last video I post posted, the Greg Leet one. It was like, do you want to sponsor this video and make revenue off this video? I was like, holy good God, how did that happen? I don't even understand how that's possible to even get that many views. But I guess someone somewhere saw it and liked it. I don't know, really. But I was like, no, there's three options. There's like, yes, no, and maybe later. I clicked the maybe later. I'm not, I'm not putting ads on my videos just yet. Not a chance. But I should take a picture of it. That just absolutely was mind-boggling. It was like, holy good God, how did... Can anyone explain that to me? But, um, oh yeah, this video is wrapping up here. Roaming with the kitchen, creme brulee. I don't even know how to make a creme brulee, but if you gave me some creme brulee mix, I'm sure I could make a mean something. You know, something magical would definitely come up if I had some creme brulee mix, man. That is that is some French sounding shit. And also, yes, I am starting a Let's Play channel. Um, other mediocre news to add to this mediocre commentary. I'm starting a Let's Play channel, so if you guys want to see that, link in the description. I don't know what game to do, though. Do you guys have suggestions? Old, new, something unique. I'm not going to continue Portal 2. I've decided way too many people are doing that. I'm sorry. And it's just, it's a difficult game to let's play over because it's, it, you're solving puzzles and you're like, oh, I'm moving a box here. And like, oh, there's a staircase just popped up. Holy shit, a staircase. I don't know how exciting that can possibly be as a staircase popping up and putting a cube and a laser and a, a woman talking to you. But anyway, leave suggestions for a game I could do. I'm on PlayStation 3. I'm willing to do anything, anything old, anything new. Um... I'm excited. I, I, I don't know when I'll start this Let's Play channel or when the first video... The channel's already been made. But when the first video will go up, I don't know. Whenever I can get a game to play, I suppose. So leave a suggestion. Punk out. Peace. Oh, actually, hang on. Punk is not out yet. One last thing um, about the Let's Play channel is don't feel obligated to subscribe, do it, or anything. It's just there if you want it. It's going to be very different than this channel because on this channel, I like to put in a creative, individual effort into every video. Whereas on the Let's Play channel, it's going to be a little more chill, a little less crazy if you will it's just kind of be me talking it won't be nearly as exciting as this so it's just there if you want it if not that's perfectly cool I, it's fine all right now i'm gone goodbye peace